okay now we have a crazy crazy vehicle you know neil he's the builder of amazing machines but this is something that's really stopping people in their tracks who've been hobbying for a long time it is a sorka class one legal hard body vehicle that neil built So Neil, tell us about it. So this is a hard body with a Mojave 2 trail finder uh, RC four wheel drive, mm -hmm. two door version mm -hmm. built on a G speed V1 C1 chassis. Okay. Okay. So this, I've seen this before. A lot of people build this. You want to go with what's special about it is uh, you have a, a vehicle you're familiar with. It exists in real life, a, a Toyota pickup. Uh, but it doesn't perform, so you've you've had to do special things aside from dropping it, right? What, yeah. What did you do to 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 you know to, with the size and whatnot? Uh, I had to bob the bed to make it shorter. Shorten the bed about, mm -hmm. about, about an inch, and then I flared the fenders so that it can cover at least half the tire width. Oh, that's a that's a rule. That's you a rule. You gotta cover mm -hmm. your tire. How do you flare fenders on a hard body? So what I used was a heat gun set to 650 Fahrenheit, and I used a glass bottle, at okay. least four four inches in diameter, uh -huh. and then you use that to flare it. So you're like here. a glass blower. You're like a hard body <laughs> blower. <laughs> Melt, you're basically melting plastic, right? Yeah. You didn't burn yourself? Nope. <laughs> How long did that take? Uh, it was my first time doing it, so it took me around four hours. Oh, damn. Yeah. I, I didn't want to like wreck the body, so yeah, I, I took yeah. it very slow. You go, you go easy at a time. You yeah. don't know how much to do it. Shape, shape, measure, shape, shape, measure. Mm -hmm. okay. Trying to make it symmetrical was the hardest. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, and you got enough clearance there? Oh, snap. So you're you're basically oh, yeah. doing full droop, huh? A lot of sag. Uh -huh. Rear Front is full droop. Mm -hmm. uh, rear is probably 75% droop. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's move on to your bumpers, your wheels, and stuff we're seeing on the outside here. All right, bumpers, front and rear, and headache rack were made by Donnie from Bent Metal, mm -hmm. local guy. He uh, just made, made it custom for your application? Yeah, mm -hmm. this is all custom. So took it to the shop, and he did his magic. Mm -hmm. Wheels are TGH wheels. Uh, I like these wheels because they're... They they swallow the the portals, ah, the knuckles in the front. Case, huh? mm -hmm. Oh, this is a portal vehicle, huh? This is a portal. Yes. Wow. Oh, by the way, if you hang on to the end, we have an Easter egg in this vehicle. So, and then uh, axles are the Vanquish SCX ten three axles. So why don't we show some of that beauty? And you went with aluminum axles? Aluminum axles, yeah, the clear version from mm -hmm. Vanquish. And then inside is a custom-made interior that I made out of styrene and 3D printed uh, seats and some RC attic figures that weigh around 26 grams each. <laughs> so even though it's got a lot of stuff on it, every part has been weighed oh yeah uh, nothing is by accident and if he could hollow it out he probably did so you have a two two two, two uh, drivers two passengers here a driver and a passenger yeah bucket seats steering wheel fire extinguisher inside scale points a lot of stickers a lot of decals all right inside oh let, let's talk about oh. what you have hanging in outside there all right inside the bed we have some tracks, uh, anchor, what's this called? Um, some line, mm -hmm. and a jerry can, antenna, and a 
and a jack for those scale points, functional and non-functional. Mm -hmm. And how is the body mounted? Body is mounted, magnet front, and then two wing nuts for the rear. Uh -huh. Tool free. Tool free, yes. Body clip free, okay. Let's, uh, let's see what's inside. What's this on the roof, by the way? Oh, this one is a roof rack, one point scale. Made by my buddy Chris Cox. I see. Carbon fiber. What? Carbon fiber roof rack. Oh my god. <laughs> Gotta make it lightweight. Because that's the highest. That's the highest part of being, yeah. alright? Okay, now we're gonna give you some running video. After this, we are gonna go to the inside the guts of the vehicle. So hang on for that. First we're gonna do the wall of doom. This is a very steep wall with a very tough entry. This thing with its bob dead is able to get through that rock behind it. And now it's a grip contest. It's enough grip. One thing really cool here, you'll notice, is the vehicle is very stable. Even as it's sliding at the limit, it's not bobbing up and down, causing it to flip over. And then the real strength of this vehicle is the side healing ability. Right here, notice it has to go over that rock. The left front wheel lifts, but it's okay. It's relaxed. And this is the one of the hardest idles we have. Very, very steep, as you can see. And it's got dips and undulations. Sped it up a little bit, but it really is a marvel how it's able to get through that. Going the other way, not quite as hard, but Right there, it's slipping and you have to catch it. You can't just pause there. And this thing with its hard body, all its accessories is doing well. This is a line that you never see in our test videos because no one can really do it. You have to go side hill instead of climb. And through all those rocks, you need clearance. It's able to do it. And right here, you do a crazy maneuver, which is you trans transition from a side hill to a crab walk. So you tilt the vehicle over so it's pointing up in the air. That transition is tough. In rare you want it to slip, you don't want to hit that overhang. You slip and then you climb. Amazing. All right, inside we have a Kratos 2750 motor running on 4S with a Mamba X ESC. Mamba X, not micro? Not micro. Mm -hmm. And then we got an Atlas winch from Three Brothers running on 4S. Mm -hmm. Creeper T transmission from Team Garage Hack. Mm -hmm. And then... What's Creeper T? Oh, that's the name of the, the transfer case. Okay. Is it, is it, uh, does it have overdrive, underdrive, or any of that business? 30% overdrive okay. for the front. Mm -hmm. And then the servo, I'm using a Holmes Hobby 500 V3. Version three. Mm -hmm. And then incision drive shafts, and then a prop shaft for the front motor mount to the transfer case. What's a prop shaft? Oh, that's the name of the, the shaft that it goes from the front yeah. motor mount to the- The name of the manufacturer? Yeah. Okay. What kind of shocks do you have there? These are big bore shocks with 60 big weight shock Big bore by shock what company? Traxxas. Traxxas big bore. Right? Traxxas okay. big bores with low C mini T springs. Mm -hmm. And then 3D printed uh, engine for, for to cover the servo. That's a plus four scale points right there. Wow. So how many scale points are you looking at with this bad boy? Overall, it's a 72 point rig. 72 points. Yeah. You're over the maximum, huh? Over the max by 12. So these are 4.2 mm -hmm. inch tires, which is the class one yeah. um, definition. Proline Hyrax G8 compound with odd six halo foams inside. Halo foam, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I've seen those foams. They're pretty cool. They kind of wrap around the uh, an inner core. Okay, let's see it run a little bit. See if it steers and whatnot. 
Hit that, hit that steering. What is that? What is the steering angle of this bad boy? Around wow. 60? 60 60 50, degrees. 55, 60, around there. I, I uh, shaved off the, wow. the knuckles to get maximum clearance. See, this is how Neil works. He just wants... There's so much torque that it's not bothered. It's not like jumping as soon as he clears the obstacle. And that's what you want in, in a competition rig. You know, as soon as he clears a very hard rock, it's not gonna jump off. It'll, it'll just, it's a creeper. It's like a sloth. This thing is running for 4S. Four, four so it's geared very low, but you can see the speed and the punch and the modulation. A servo is so oh, <laughs> that's how much force there is. <laughs> Holmes Hobby 500v3. Holmes Hobby. Right on. Well, thank you, Neil. We will show you. Uh, hang on there, but we'll show you some running video of this thing. We've taken quite a bit of footage on this, uh, and you'll see what we're talking about. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thanks a ton. All right, more running video. Hang on to the end, by the way, as we have our Easter egg. So here we have a little side hill, but very bumpy. And then you have to go over that rock. So what's required here is control and calmness. You want a vehicle that's settled and that articulates without upsetting itself. And this thing is like a sloth does it really well even though it's heavy seven and a half pounds so very good shocks really help it out and that droop allows it full droop allows it to be low for center gravity but when these bumps come it articulates notice how the that left rear tire comes down and meets the ground
it's really a delight to drive something that's this controllable and steers this well. I bet you this class 1 vehicle can, can beat some of the uh, the class 2 or even cheater rigs out there. It's, it's just that good. Class 1 by the way is one of the defining mo uh, characteristics is a 4.2 inch tire so a much smaller tire. And this one is an impossible, impossible line. Uh, you cannot go straight because it's just a cliff but what you want to do is you want to pivot around that rock to get around it. And you need to achieve a really good balanced pivoting machine right there to do that drop and not crash. All the skills are involved, flat belly, nice sliders, and tires that reach down and grab any kind of foothold to move forward. Hope you enjoyed that. All right, I hope you liked that running video. Uh, since you hang on till the end, we'll show you the Easter egg. Right there. Send nudes. Hashtag send nudes. <laughs> Not sure what it means, but it is funny. All right, see ya.